So guys, let's begin the countdown. On number 10, we have a Lockheed Martin F-16 Fighting Falcon from the United States of America. The F-16 was a lighter, less expensive alternative to the F-15 Eagle. Unlike the F-15, which is purely an air superiority fighter, the F-16 is a multi-role aircraft. Capable of attacking both air and ground targets, the F-16 has been produced in a large number and participated in numerous conflicts. Over 4,500 aircraft have been built. It has been widely exported and it is currently operational with 26 countries around the world. The F-16 is battle proven. This aircraft is small but highly maneuverable. The F-16 has bubble single-piece compact for excellent pilot visibility. The F-16 is still in service in the United States Air Force will remain operational until 2025, though in future it might get replaced with F-35 Lightning II. On number 9 we have MIG-31 from Russia. The MIG-31 was developed as a part of an overall program to provide the Soviet air defenses with the ability to meet the threat posed by NATO. This interceptor has a high speed, altitude, and rate of climb, however, it sacrifices maneuverability. In order to achieve these capabilities, the MIG-31 is among the fastest produced aircrafts. It uses missiles to shoot down enemy aircraft at long distances. The latest version of MIG-31BM is built as a true multi-role foxhound. A project of upgrade Russian interceptors to the MIG-31BM standard was begun in 2010. This interceptor continued to form the backbone of Russia's air defenses. Okay guys, moving to our number 8. On number 8 we have McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle owned by the United States of America. The F-15 Eagle is a purpose-built air superiority fighter designed to penetrate the enemy's defense. Although now in service for over 30 years, it remains a formidable ball plane. This aircraft scored more than 100 air kills and is considered among the most successful Cold War aircraft fighters. The F-15 is equipped with weaponry and electronics enabling it to detect, acquire, track, and attack enemy's aircraft. While operating in enemy-controlled airspace, this fighter carries a wide range of air-to-air -air missiles and is extremely maneuverable. Also, it has strong high-speed maneuverability. Through modifications and upgrades, the F-15 has been constantly improved. On number 7, we have Su-35 from Russia. The Su-35 multi-role fighter is a significantly developed version of Su-27. It is being offered for export as a replacement for the Su-27 and MIG-29. In 2012, it has been adapted by the Russian Air Force. Developers refer to the Su-35 as fourth generation fighter. It is a very fast and highly maneuverable fighter with a very long range, high altitude and capability. It poses a great threat to the Western fourth generation fighters. The SQ-35 is primarily an air superiority fighter, however, it has secondary air to ground capability this aircraft can carry an enormous amount of weapons. It has 12 wings and fuselage hardpoints and can carry ordnance with a maximum weight of up to 8,000 kilograms. Its large and powerful engines give it ability to supercruise for a long time. Also, its engine allows to reach supersonic speed without using the afterburner. Engines have a three-dimensional thrust that train and make this aircraft very maneuverable. However, Russia still lags behind in the development, acquisition, and employment of some of the latest technologies. Recently, a new Sukhoi PAKFA Slatty Air Superiority Fighter is being developed in Russia. First operational aircraft might be delivered to the Russian Air Force in 2017 to 2018. Okay guys, moving to our number 6. On number 6, we have the Salt Rafale, the launch of France. The Rafale is in service both with the French Air Force and Navy. This multi role fighter features some of the very latest avionic systems. Also, some measures are taken to reduce the rockfall section of this aircraft. This aircraft is very maneuverable. The Rafale can track 40 targets and fire at 4 targets simultaneously. This aircraft can hold its own against the latest versions of American F-16. The, the Salt Rafale will form the crosstone of French Air Force until well into the 21st century. Moving to our number 5. On number 5, we have Eurofighter Typhoon from the European Union. In 1986, the Eurofighter Consortium was formed by Germany, Italy, UK, and Spain to develop a new multi-role combat aircraft. 
optimized as a beyond visual range interceptor with a scantily ground attack capability. This aircraft carries advanced European design missiles. It is fitted with a very modern and comprehensive avionics package. It is claimed that Typhoon is half as combat effective as the American F-22 Raptor. It is an approximate estimate. However, it seems that Typhoon is superior to the F-15F. French Rafale, evolved Russian Su-27 variants and many other aircraft. The Euro 5 Typhoon will form the cornerstone of European air power until into the 21st century. On number 4 we have FA-18EF Super Hornet from United States of America. Currently this Super Hornet is most capable US Navy's multi-role fighter. It is based on the aircraft carriers can attack both air and surface targets. The Super Hornet is also in service with Australia as the main fighter aircraft. The FA-18EF is a larger and more capable derivative of FA-18CD Hornet. This Super Hornet is fitted with new engines. It has additional hard points and can carry many missiles. This aircraft has extended range due to the larger internal storage of fuel. The Super Hornet is also has improved avionics. Some measures were taken to reduce radar cross. On number 3 we have Chengdu J-20 from China. The Chengdu J-20 is the new China's select fighter. It was designed to compete against the other 5th generation fighters such as the US Raptor and Russian PAKFA. It is speculated that the development of this J-20 was assisted by the Russian MIG aviation company. Low rate initial production of this levy aircraft commenced in 2015. First operational J-20 levy fighters were delivered to China in 2016. During the last decade, China has taken a more transparent approach to its military programs. Still though, there is a little official information of this plane, most likely that the new J-20 is a long-range air superiority fighter which might also have a secondary ground attack capability. This new Chinese warplane might actually be an advanced 4th generation fighter rather than a true 5th generation fighter. This Chinese fighter has two large internal weapon bays for a long air-to-air -air missiles and two small side multi weapons bays for short-range air-to-air missiles. On number 2 we have F-35 Lockheed Martin from United States of America. The F-35, also known as Lightning II, is a new multi role fighter. One of its variants, the F-35B, achieved the initial operational capability with the US Marine Corps in 2015. The F-35 was developed under a joint strike program which was intended to replace existing aircraft types with a common fighter. In the near future, the F-35 will replace the AV-8B, A-10, F-16, and F-A-18 warplanes in service with the US military. Also, it will be exported to the number of countries. The F-35 has a configuration similar to the Lockheed Martin's own F-22 design. However, it is slightly smaller and has one engine. It exploits slurry technology which reduces its radar cross-section and makes it harder to detect. The multi-role fighter can perform on air defense missions, close air support, and tactical bombing. It is compatible with the latest air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missiles. This aircraft is proposed in three main variants, including the F-35A conventional takeoff and landing aircraft, the F-35B short takeoff and vertical landing aircraft, and the F-35C carrier-based aircraft, these variants share about 80% of their parts to keep development and production costs low. And on top of our list, we have Lockheed Martin Boeing F-22 Raptor from United States. The F-22 Raptor is air superiority fighter which is almost invisible to the radars. The aircraft carries a powerful array of weaponry. It is the most up-to-date and expensive production fighter aircraft to date. Many of sensors and avionics of this plane remain classified. Engines of the Raptor allows the aircraft to super cruise over long ranges, while thrust vectoring nozzles combined with a triple X fly by wire flight control system make it exceptionally vulnerable. The F-22 started life as a straightforward air superiority fighter. However, since its introduction, this aircraft lacks a formidable air threat from other countries' fighter. Later, it evolved towards the multi-role fighter as a strike capability was added. This advanced aircraft was never offered for export customers, even the allies and NATO countries. 
currently it is the best fighter aircraft built ever.